All right, my dear friends, let's, let's um, think about this, man. The one thing we all humans have in common is that one day we will pass on, and we know people that have, and we know that we will. Um, and so as we do that, let's, let's have this final artistic uh, break just before our final uh, session today. Um, the Quick Center of the Arts and Sozo Artists, they, with us, are thrilled to bring you Halakuri and a meditation experience to help us begin to bridge the ideas we've been thinking about today. Hal is the co-founder of Off the Mat, Into the World. It's a remarkable organization that bridges yoga and activism with social justice frameworks. Originally from Beirut, Lebanon, she's dedicated her life to the study of trauma, justice, and building resilience. Hal is trained in somatic experience, a body-based psychotherapy that helps resolve trauma and its symptoms. Take a deep breath, and let's jump in. Hello everybody. I'm going to invite you to start by finding a comfortable seated position. You can sit on the floor, you can sit in a chair, whatever works for you. Do what you need to do with your legs to feel like your spine is long. I'm sitting on a cushion. You might grab one for yourself as well. Once you find a long spine, just take a moment to look around the space you're in. Take in the colors and the textures. Don't look at stuff you want to organize. Just notice shapes, colors, textures. Some of you might notice that your body settles when you do this. And then when you feel sufficiently oriented to your environment, let's take a moment to go inside. Take a moment and check in with how you're feeling in this moment. Roll your shoulders back a few times. And we're going to take a little neck release together. You take your left hand to the floor, or you can use a block if you have a block, and reach your right arm up. As you root down through your sit bones, get as much extension through the right side of the body as you can. Make sure you engage your low belly muscles a little bit to support your lower back. And then from here, just check in with your range of motion. You might want to lean over a little bit. You might want to bend your elbow. It's important you find the edge that works in your body. And try to breathe deeply here as you press into the bottom hand to roll the chest open. And then take your top arm up and slightly back. You can let your head go left ear to left shoulder. And slowly begin to look down a little bit. You might notice tension in the right side of your neck. And then look forward again and circle this top arm around two times. Find the range of motion that works in your body. You don't want to overdo it here. And then come on up to sit. Pause a moment here. Hmm. And then take the right hand to the floor or block and your left arm up. Snuggle that left sit bone down. Again, find your centering muscles here and then expand. So we gotta ground down deep before we can open and expand away from that grounding. Lean over just a little bit, see what that's like. And then take the top arm up and slightly back, right ear to right shoulder. Try to breathe into the areas that are tight, slowly turning your gaze to look down. And then looking forward again. And then circle that top arm mindfully two times here. Nice. And then come on back up to sit. And then just notice if anything settles in your body here. We're going to take the feet out in front of us a little bit. Let your knees bend, hands are on your, on your knees, and you're going to round your back and lean back a little bit. And as you inhale, you're going to arch and lift your heart. Exhale, round. So working with some spinal mobility here, especially if you've been sitting a lot, on Zoom a lot, we've got to move the energy in the body so you can be really present for this transformative workshop, for this transformative experience. 
So a couple more here. Good. And then from here, I'm actually gonna invite us to get onto our backs. You can do all this stuff seated as well. But especially if you've been sitting a lot, you might appreciate laying down on your back a little bit. So on your back, feet are wide, knees are together. Hands can be on your body or alongside your body. Check in with what your body needs. And take a moment to focus and feel into all the places in your body making contact with the ground. You might even imagine the earth rising up to get your back here. And notice if anything begins to settle. Really gently turn your head side to side. Check in with the range of motion in your neck here. You don't want to force anything. And then gently come back to center. Shift your hips to the right, drop your knees over to the left. You can put the fist between the knees here, right arm out, elbow bends. Look towards your left, maybe feel a stretch in the right side of the neck. Breathe into this. And slowly take your gaze up, maybe over to the right. And then bring the knees back into your chest. Hug them in a little bit here. Take a deep inhale, sigh it out. <sighs> and then keep the right knee hugged in and extend your left leg. Maybe the left foot lands flat on the floor. Maybe you extend it. As you pull the right knee in, rotate the right ankle around a few times in each direction. And then point and flex. And then hug the left leg in, bring the right foot to the floor or extend it straight. And rotate that left ankle around a few times in each direction. Point and flex. And then let's place both feet on the floor. Pause here a moment. And just notice how you're feeling here. And from here, we're gonna extend the right leg up. You can hold onto the back of the leg. If you have a towel or a strap, you can use that. Flex your foot strongly, and then just extend and bend the knee a few times, getting into the hamstrings. These are muscles that are gonna get really tight if you're sitting a lot. And then find the, your edge, find where you're feeling the stretch, and try to offer your breath to that edge. So even if it's uncomfortable, can we stay somewhat relaxed? And anytime we're doing any kind of work that's about transformation or change, whether it's in our bodies or our organizations, we have to learn to be okay with discomfort. So try it with your hamstring and then you can try it with everything else. And let's take one more deep breath here and then give it a sound, sigh it out. <sighs> and then cross the right ankle over the left knee. Stay here a moment. If you're getting a good stretch, stay right here. If you need more, you can draw the left leg in towards you a little bit. Maybe you hold on to the back of the leg. Find the edge you can work with. You don't want to go in so far that it's overwhelming. Good, and then take another deep inhale. Take another deep inhale. Sigh it out. <sighs> Release and uncross your legs. Take a moment to extend your legs and notice if one side feels different from the other. And then bend your knees and extend your left leg. You can hold onto the back of your leg or use a towel or a strap. Flex the foot strongly and then extend and bend a few times here. And then find the edge that you wanna work with and practice keeping the shoulders relaxed and the breath deep even as you're working with your edge in your body. Notice that the neck gets tight or the jaw, you can move the head side to side if that occurs. And try to feel the expansiveness of the breath even when you're confronting the contraction in your leg. Let's take one more really deep breath. Give it a sound, sigh it out. And then release and cross left ankle over right knee. Stay here if you're getting a good stretch or draw the right leg in if you need a little bit more. Find the edge you wanna work with and then practice staying present with discomfort without running away. 
And we can sometimes think about the practice as a metaphor. What in life is asking you to be uncomfortable or bringing discomfort to you? And how might you use your breath or your quality of presence to stay with the discomfort if it benefits you, if that discomfort is transformational? A few more deep breaths. Make sure you feel your back against the earth here. Good. One more deep inhale and then sigh it out. <sighs> Release, uncross your legs. Let's take a big stretch. Extend the arms and the legs. Get super long here. Mm. Good. And then bend your knees. Let's make our way back up. Pull over to the side and come on up. with the bottoms of your feet together and your knees apart. Remember to sit on a pillow if you feel like you're falling back. You can also put your hands behind you to keep your spine long. So your choice, you can either stay here or maybe you find you can hold your ankles and come forward a little bit. Make sure your knees don't hurt you. And find a place to take a few deep breaths. You should feel, be feeling the stretch of the inner thighs. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed and you're not unconsciously clenching your jaw or your neck. Let's take one more deep breath here and then slowly come on up. Good, find your comfortable seat again. <sighs> Just take a moment and notice how you feel. Thank you so much for practicing with me, everybody.